Right, today's video is going to be how to build a hoarding wall and why. Okay, so hoarding mill, hoarding mill, hoarding wall is a section where you corner off or shut off the construction zone to pedestrians. Okay, so where we are, we are working out. I'll wait for the noise to stop. We're working at a campsite. Okay, so we're doing to. This is the hard thing about making videos when you're on a construction site. There's lots of noise everywhere. So, yeah, basically, as I was saying, we've got to sh shut it off so none of the pedestrians to the campsite can enter the construction zone, okay? So stay posted and we'll show you. Boys are just starting the hoarding wall now. So around here, going around, shutting off customers so they can't get into the construction side. It's all in here. So we're renovating here. We're doing some composite cladding on the ceilings around the bar, moving the bar. Down the far end there, we've got to do some work. Um, over there, we're doing some composite cladding on the ceiling. So a few bits we've got to do here. Here's the hoarding wall that we built. So this now shuts off the construction zone, okay, which is where we're working all in here, to the pedestrians and the clientele to the holiday park. So all these timbers, the uprights, are spaced out 600 centers. So a full sheet of ply is an eight by four sheet, which is 1220 by 2440. So we space it out so the ply fits in in between the two uprights. So it saves cutting down every time because there's only a hoarding wall, it's only a temporary wall until all the wax finished. So that's why you do that. Um, and then we've screwed it, because obviously, as you can see, it's different angles, so it goes from this angle into that angle. It's fixed through here. So at the connecting points, it's screwed together. And as you see at the top, we've just had to patch in with a rip down of the ply. And like I said, with a gate slash door, three hinges, just with a little latch bolt. So it's only accessible from the inside, and that's it. 